Good evening, greetings from Heindel Motorcycle Sales, Eaton, Ohio. So you may have saw our other video put up here a few days ago about the 2019 pre-owned that we had. Uh, you know what I say, had. Uh, one of our good customers traded in his 2013 Euro Gobi on the uh, 2019 that we had available. Uh, so this one, uh, the 2013 Gobi, is going to be available for sale. Uh, just put it up on the lift, going to get ready to go over it, uh, make sure everything's good to go. Uh, we did sell this unit new back in August of 2013, so almost seven years ago. And this unit's going to be available. Uh, it does have a little bit of oxidation here and there. Um, likely been out in the, in the weather a little bit, but nothing nothing major. Um, looks very good. Has lots of upgrades on it. Um, gentleman had added, he had a fender luggage rack. I see it came standard with the entrenching tool there. Uh, the Heindel rear bumper, which looks very good on it. I uh, see the aluminum fluid canister. In 2013, the fluid cans were aluminum. Uh, of course, you have drum brake on the sidecar and on the rear of the motorcycle. So you see the large spare wheel there with the large hub. Um, same on the sidecar and then on the rear of the motorcycle. Gentleman did have tractor seats on it and he wanted to swap out. He wanted to keep his tractor seats. He had a custom backrest that he made put on there. Uh, so he went, went ahead and swapped the seat out with the one off of the 2019 Europe. Of course, it has the 2013 style branch pipes there. 750cc, of course, uh, carbureted, key and carburetors. Uh, you do see we haven't cleaned any of it up yet uh, this is as it came in there's a little bit of oxidation there uh, you'll see some oxidation on the on the engine um, we'll get it cleaned up and it'll look it'll look very good once it's clean uh, he had upgraded a lot of his fasteners uh, you'll see here we've got uh, allen head cap screws there um, those are stainless steel um, you see there as well has the pedestrian slicer there on the front fender the color matched Gobi fairing and then uh, this unit also has he had upgraded Koso heated grip set uh, with the integrated controller see there um, then it also had on this unit uh, the customer had upgraded to a barrel style lock for the toolbox tank and of course you have on the sidecar, um, you do have the spotlight. And then this is the older style seat. The new style seat assembly that has the under seat storage will go right in. Um, the pan will bolt right in. We do have those available. If you wanted to upgrade to the new style seating, uh, we could do that no problem. Fact is, if you talk to us right, we may be able to work that out in the sale price. And I've got an aftermarket set of uh, LED driving lights there. We'll turn the key on. As the uh, with the key on, you have the uh, ring halo around, and then when we turn the switch inside the sidecar, let's see, pull switch, pull the switch out there. That turns your turns your lights on very bright LED uh, we have the housings available this is the sealed beam this was the Wagner sealed beam um, we do have the housings where you can convert that to an H4 and then install the LED in it as well and it looks like he's still using the switch inside the sidecar so we'll go over here and turn this off and then the other switch in here has another switch that is the spotlight you see there it turns the spotlight on and off and then you also have the European style power outlet of course the gear up model is your two wheel drive so this does have the engageable sidecar wheel and everything looks like it was just the way I left it in 2013 when I set this one up this one did come from us so Fact is, I think this is probably the first time it's been back in the shop uh, since we sold it new. And we'll go ahead and let the lift down and we'll take a look, see how many miles are on the odometer.
my squeaky joints. Of course, you have leg shields. As I mentioned, the pedestrian slicer there. And we have 3,955 kilometers. It's a very low mileage machine. And this is almost a brand new bench seat. That's the one that came off the 2019. It does have your passenger foot pegs. And then some of you may notice the on the reverse lever here. Uh, this is the tank mounted or top of the engine mounted reverse lever. That controls your reverse gear. X grate is a neutral finder. See a few little water droplets on there. And then of course the branch pipes. Very good machine. Probably put a new mirror on it. I just picked up on that. Good rattle. Uh, the glass is loose in the mirror. And the only way to correct that would be to put a new mirror on it. Make sure we're in neutral. Make sure enrichners are pulled out. And I haven't made any adjustments to it at all. I uh, just put it up on the lift to put that seat on there and then wanted to get the video out. We'll go through and make some cable adjustments. Uh, the clutch cable needs adjusted. The gentleman did indicate that it has a newer battery uh, had been installed. Of course, the brakes are going to be in good condition. And price-wise, well, it just depends on how good it looks once we get it cleaned up, uh, how much of the oxidation and whatnot comes off. Uh, we're probably going to be in the uh, 9 range, give or take. Very good machine, ready to roll, ready to travel on. And on a lot of the videos that have the toolbox tank, um, we've never talked about the inside storage. We'll go ahead and open it up. And give you an idea uh, how deep it is finger width finger length depends on how long your fingers are I guess doesn't it uh, and let's see snazzy fangled barrel lock must be smarter than the lock Well, that's interesting. That would be unlocked. I'll monkey with that. I'll make it right. You saw me open it. It's got to close. Just going to take two hands to do it. So. And this is a little uh, rust run from being out in the in the weather. Uh, see how that wipes off. So that's the kind of stuff we'll get all cleaned up. In the trunk is the tool kit, the tonneau cover. Do 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 do. do. What else is in the trunk? Uh, I've got extra keys hanging here. A tonneau cover, tool kit, owner's manual, uh, antique touch-up paints around here someplace. I think I don't remember where I put it. Uh, but anyway. This is a 2013 Euro Gobi with lots of options. Heindel Motorcycle Sales, Eaton, Ohio. As always, thanks for watching.